Hey Dave, Pat the Backyard Builder here. Well, a little bit of a different project today. We've uh, we're finally finished the uh, the hobby room and sort of gotten moved in there. We're still sorting things out as we go, but uh, time to move on to another project. Uh, today we're installing some theater seats. Uh, where we we uh, managed to find some. Uh, old uh, used theater seats at a movie theater that they were tearing down in the city and uh, got them at a reasonable price. Actually in surprisingly good condition. Um, so so uh, we, we picked up uh, enough seats to fill our little row here and we're going to take our couch out and put the, put the seats in uh, today. Uh, now when you uh, are buying uh, theater seats um, give you a fair warning up front here. First thing you're going to want to do is clean them. Um, it took us a couple hours to, to clean three seats to our satisfaction, but uh, it's well worth the effort. You don't want to be bringing a whole bunch of yucky stuff into your home. Um, we we, we uh, we, uh, we're, we're, we're quite surprised at the uh, level of grime that was on these things, but that, that's par for the course in those places. Um, tell you, if you want to you wanna find out how, 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 how uh, I'll tell you, if you wanna, ever want to find out how, uh, how much pigs re people really are, just, just buy some used theater seats, guaranteed, and you, you, you'll be disgusted when you uh, try to clean them. Um, you'll, you'll need yourself uh, a good tooth, uh, good used toothbrush, uh, a, a scraper or two, and some good old hot soap and water and uh, just, just get at her. Um, you also might want to have a screwdriver handy to take, take, take the, back of the back of the seats off and just, just uh, knock them out. I know one of the seats we found, I'm sure, a year's supply worth of snacks in the back of it there. Uh, all kinds of stuff from popcorn to macaroons, but uh, yeah, you, you want to clean up stuff like that. Uh, you don't want to be attracting pests into your house and stuff like that. So, or, or worse, having the stuff go rancid and smell. But uh, just take your time, give them a good clean up, and you know. And uh, for the price we paid, we it, it was worth a couple hours to clean them. So. Anyways, uh, let's get started. Now when you uh, buy these, you're going to want to make sure that you've got all the hardware. I'm sure every brand of, uh, of seat is uh, probably uh, somewhat different in the way it goes together, the way it mounts or whatever, but, uh, but uh, w w when you take them apart or whoever sells them to you, just make sure that you get all the little hardware pieces. You're going to need all the nuts and bolts. Now even with the uh, nuts and bolts, we even wash them, we just put them in a little plastic container, threw some soap and water in, put the lid on it, just give it a good shake and we were shocked at how disgustingly dirty even that water was, so, yeah. but uh, anyway, let's get started putting together here. Okay, now these things don't come with instructions, so you kind of have to figure out how, how, how to do it on your own. Um, Basically, what I'm going to do here, I'm going to start out with uh, with one leg here. We're going to do the centerpiece first. Um, I'm thinking we're going to start out with the back. And got uh, three holes here. I can decide how far I want to tip it back for comfort. I think I'm going to go back all the way. And then, so, oh yes. And I think, just, let's try this. That 
sort of together. Crash. Okay. Now I'm thinking we're probably not going to want to tighten these up too much. Because it seems to me that with a common, the common center here, the uh, oh, let's try it this way. Balancing it doesn't work, so we'll just there. That works. Oh, sort of. Oops! I have all our pieces in hand. Try that again. Okay, now, haha, -ha, I think we discovered the secret and we missed the bolt. Oh, let's Now we're just putting these on uh, hand tight for now. Not even actually, it's going to be fairly loose. Because we're going to have to put the next section on. There we go. Now. That's gonna that's gonna stay there for a minute. I think what we'll do, we'll just lean that up against the wall. There we go. Now Rest, and we have our next seat. The guy on the end gets the armrest. The guy on the other end gets the other, uh, the, the other uh, the cup holder. Okay, so let's get this here. What we're doing here? This has got a an open bolt hole at the bottom here. So we've got the. Uh, the Bolt just thread it into the hole at the side here, and we're just going to set that in there now. There we go. And we take our other bolt and just thread that into the hole. Now, since this doesn't have anything else. Thread on. So I think what we're going to do at this point, we're just going to tighten that up. Make that nice and tight. We've got nothing more to add on to that end. Now, this piece here now hooks in and shares the bolt with the center piece. So. Oops, crash. <laughs> Trying to hold all this hardware together. It's more interesting. Okay, so what we're going to do here, just going to put bolt through, put a washer and a nut on the one side, and just have that loose, 
Now what we're going to do, we're going to lift these up and just hook them into there on both sides. Well, I've got one, one plate here on each side of the, the center stand and we're just going to lift that up and drop that in there on both sides. And then, suppose it seems to be easier. There we go. Got it. A lot easier if you don't put the nut on the end first, I guess. Okay, so now we just repeat our process for the top. I'm sure glad I'm not being paid by the seat to put this together. Guys who uh, put these things together for a living when theaters open I sure have a new appreciation for them. There we go. Now we got that up. We can just tighten those bolts up a bit. Okay, and then now uh, on to the final section. Now for the final end piece, uh, I'm going to use a little different strategy. Um, what I'm going to do, I'm going to, well actually kind of the same strategy as the first one there. I'm going to get this leg on to the back first, and then we're going to attach the two in the center. So let's see how that works. Okay, now with that all together, let's see how she she goes here. Should, should go a little easier than the last one, I suspect. Just... Okay, so now. <laughs> That puts all those together. Just uh, take your wrenches and just uh, tighten everything up now. And, uh... Okay. Now, next step, the seats. The seats are relatively easy to install. They just simply sit in place. Oops. This helps to have them going the right way. Okay, they have a nice spring action to them. And they just simply thread in like so. You've got a little bit of maneuvering room. Hmm. There we go. And then just tighten them down. Now you're going to probably I'll leave them just a little bit loose until you bolt these things actually to the floor. So I suspect you're going to want to square things up. And th th there is room to move these from, from side to side with, with, within the bracket. So I... There we go. And there's your seat. Yeah, yeah. I'll just check that out for comfort. Oh yeah, that, that's lean in 
coming back nicely. You can, there are a couple extra holes back here. You can actually sit them up uh, if you don't want to lean back so far. Um, just uh, talk to my wife here and see what we're going to do about that. So anyways, once you've uh, got it all together, just uh, move it into where you uh, want to position it. And the next step after that is to bolt it to the floor. Okay, so now to mark our holes, what we're going to do, we're going to do the front row of uh, holes first, and then we're going to uh, uh, set the uh, pins in place and we'll, we'll mark, mark the back holes. Uh, what we're going to do here, we're just going to pull, pull the seat forward so it's level, and then we're just going to take a, a felt marker and we're just going to go through the, the hole here at the front of the uh, base and we're just going to put a mark and wherever that mark is that's where we drill our holes okay now once you've established where your first uh, anchor bolt is going to go and that, the next thing you need to do is, is uh, of course carry on putting them in place now uh, I, I've marked on the carpet approximately where the, the drill holes are going to go and just to confirm I, I measured the distance between that bolt hole and that bolt hole and then I double check the distance from the wall to the uh, bolt straight out and I make sure that the distance is of course going to be consistent all the way all the way along and that way I make sure that my uh, my row is going to run straight. Now, now, if you're drilling into uh, concrete, you haven't got an issue, but uh, one thing you need to do be careful about with carpet, I found out the hard way. Um, <laughs> um, if, if, if you're drilling through carpet, uh, there's a good possibility of your uh, drill bit catching on to the, uh, the threads in the carpet and then pulling up a big run. You don't want that to happen. So what we're going to actually do before we drill our hole, we're just going to take a razor knife and we're going to cut a small square around the hole, uh, dead center to where the hole is going to go, and that will just cut off all the threads so that when, when we drill we're not going to be pulling any threads up. And Now, now this uh, hole in the carpet will be covered by the plate, so that's, that's not going to be an issue. So you want to make sure that you get all the all the fibers. Just pull that little square right out of there, and I just go right through the the sub uh, the under the under pad and everything, and just get myself a, a clear path right down to the uh, right down to the cement. Now, if you've got a wood floor, you're not going to be using anchor bolts. You're going to be using uh, probably lag screws, in which case you're probably safe to go through the carpet. But I would try one first and make sure you're not going to have an issue. Make sure you get all the all the little threads out because you don't want to be catching anything because it's real easy to pull up a run of carpet here.
Okay, so next thing you're going to want to do is take an anchor bolt and drop it into your hole. Now, be very careful about dropping these in. Um, they're, de they're designed with a wedge at the bottom. Uh, it's a one-way operation. You drop it in the hole, you try to pull it out, what happens is the wedge splits apart and, pull and grabs the edge of the, uh, the hole, so you cannot pull it out. In fact, the, the harder you pull, the tighter that wedge grabs. So this is a one-way operation. Now I'm only going to put it in so that it uh, actually sticks out about an inch or so. Nice thing about these things is we can in fact tap them down a little lower and afterward if we have to. I mean once we get the uh, this, the seat over top. If we need to lower this so that it doesn't stick out and grab somebody's foot, fine. We can always tap it in the hole, but getting it out is impossible. So just put it in just, just a little ways. Okay, so once you've got all your bolts installed in the floor, um, then, then you want to set your, uh, your seats in place and just quickly go through it and just put them all uh, down to the floor uh, finger tight. Then what you're going to want to do, now this is where I said earlier, you don't have to punch these things in too far. But now you can punch them in as far as you need to. Uh, just push your washer on first, and put your nut at the very top. Use a little wider tapping surface. Take a hammer and just knock that all the way down. So it's maybe about an eighth of an inch above the uh, top of the bolt. There we go. And you can do the same with the other ones, just back them off. Uh, and just tap them down. And that just gets them out of the way so nobody catches their foot on them. suck that really down tight to the floor. And the tighter you uh, tighten those bolts, the harder those uh, wedges are going to push out and grab the concrete, and the tighter your, your, your seats will be to the floor. And uh, I've got about probably three quarters of an inch of padding and carpet here I'm going to compress anyway, so I, I, I'm, I'm just going to torque these things down really good myself. So, but anyways, that's about it. Have a good day.